Here we go, solving systems by substitution. Now you've actually done this all your life. Let's say we had a, a problem, evaluate x plus seven if x equals two. Well, sub coach, x, you're out, two, you're in. That would just give you two plus seven or nine, right? We're just subbing in this two for that value of x. And that's all substitution is. You find out what one variable equals, you plug it back in, and then you go from there. Here we've got a system, y equals 3x and x plus 2y equals negative 21. The first thing we're looking out for is do we have a variable by itself, do we know what that is, either x or y? Well, I know what y equals here, I've got y equals 3x, and since I know that, I can take this 3x and plug it into my second equation for y. Doing that, we'll get x plus 2 instead of y, 3x equals negative 21. Now we can just solve this like normal for x. That's going to give us x plus 6x, doing 2 times 3x equals negative 21. Combining these x's, x plus 6x is 7x equals negative 21. And dividing out the 7, we're going to get x equals negative 3. Perfect, but we're not done. We know what x is, we also want to find y. And I've got a great little trick for you to do that. Take this x equals negative 3 back up to your original equation, and since you know what x is, you could choose either one of these equations to plug that in and solve for y. I say tomato, you say tomato, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pick this first one, y equals 3x, because it looks simpler. So let's take this x equals negative 3 and plug it right in for that x. That's going to give us y equals 3 times negative 3, plugging that in, solving from there, we'll get y equals negative 9. And there we are, we've got x equals negative 3, y equals negative 9, beautiful. All right, here we've got another one, x plus 5y equals negative 3, and 3x minus 2y equals 8. First, do we see a variable already isolated, already by itself? Well, no, it doesn't look like x or y is already alone. So next, let's troubleshoot here. Can we make one of the variables get by itself? Well, yeah, okay. The easiest one that that's gonna be is actually a variable with no coefficient or no number x next to it. So let's focus on this x right here, trying to get that all by itself on one side of the equation. So if we take that equation, x plus 5y equals negative 3, let's go ahead and subtract the 5y from each side. That's gonna let these cancel out, giving us x equals negative 3 minus 5y. All right, now we're in business because we know what this x is here. We can sub in this value, negative 3 minus 5y. Let's take that and swoop it right over here to our other equation and plug it right in there for that x value. Doing that, we're going to get 3 times x or negative 3 minus 5y, subbing that in, minus 2y equals 8. Again, coming from this second equation. Now we need to solve for y. Let's simplify all this out. Distributing this 3, we'll get negative 9 minus 15y minus 2y equals 8. Let's combine our like terms here. That'll give us negative 9 minus 17y equals 8. Isolating this y further, we want to add 9 to both sides. Canceling that 9 out and adding 9 to 8, we get negative 17y equals 17. Finally, if we divide that negative 17 out, we're going to get y equals negative 1. Beautiful. All right, it's my favorite part. Let's take that y. Let's bring it right on back to our original equation up here. And what are we going to do? Plug it in, plug it in. That's right, we're going to take that y and we're going to plug it in for either one of these equations. Again, I say potato, you say potato. It does not matter. This time, let's go ahead and take this y and I'm going to sub it right into the second equation, that negative 1, and I need to plug that in for this y right there. Doing that, we'll get 3x minus 2 times negative 1, placing that in for that y, negative 2 times y, or negative 1, equals 8. Going from there, we'll get 3x plus 2 equals 8, subtract 2, then divide by 3, and we'll solve that to get a value of x equals 2. And there we are, we've got our final answers, x equals 2, y equals negative 1, solved.